Hi, I'm T.H. Culhane for Solar Cities, and this message goes out to the students and faculty of our beloved AUC, American University in Cairo. I'm standing on Hannah Fatih's roof in the Zebelin neighborhood of Manchiat Nasser, and I'd like to apologize to all of you that I cannot be with you today, this Sunday, for our Solar Cities presentation. An emergency came up, and I have to fly tomorrow morning, my time, which is by the time you get this two days ago. Friday morning I have to fly back to Germany and inshallah I will come back I promise you uh, very soon uh, we can meet in person and continue this dialogue but Hannah Fathi and Dr. Salah Arafa and our team from Solar Cities are going to are going to give you the um, give you what we say is the lowdown on what we're doing in the project in Darb al-Ahmar and Manshiat Nasser but since I'm here today I'd just like to talk you through a little bit and then You'll see photographs and Hannah will explain the rest. Basically, here on Hannah's roof, just like on the roof in Darb al-Ahmar and Hussein Farak's house, we have constructed the India RT biogas system, which turns kitchen garbage into at least two hours of cooking gas every day. And we've constructed our handmade solar hot water systems, where you can use recycled plastic water barrels for the hot water and cold water parts of the system. We're using local materials like the Zahran Awama, that uh, float valve that people have in their toilets and in their tanks. And that's really the secret to our system. There's an Awama in each of the barrels there, and we're able to fill the cold water barrel whenever the water comes on in the neighborhood, and then use that water to feed the hot water barrel, and then it circulates through the solar hot water system, which is nothing more than a shabaka made of copper pipes and sheets of aluminum cut into strips and painted black. This is a solar hot water system. The only thing we do then is we put this, this uh, montage of copper pipe and aluminum into a box with styrofoam for insulation and a plate of glass on top and that enables it to work even in the coldest winter months as long as the sun is shining. It makes water so hot that if you stick your hand in one with one one thousand I can't keep my hand in for more than two seconds and to prove it to you actually we have a friend come on up here um, and uh, this is Abdu Abdu is just visiting from the Italian television agency he's never touched this water see how long you can keep it in there you see it's hot tell them tell the AUC faculty and students the Arabi so, the gamut. So, solar hot water is a no-brainer. It works really easy here in the place that they once called Heliopolis, the city of the sun. There's more sun here than anywhere else in the world. So, this is very easy to do, as your professor, Dr. Salah Arafa, has demonstrated for the past 30 years. Egypt is the most logical place for solar energy in the world. And here in Manshiat Nasser and Dabal Ahmar, we've demonstrated that anybody can make a system with their own hands using local materials. You don't have to go and buy from outside for this. The same with the biogas system. It's very simple. It's just a plastic water tank with another plastic water tank upside down in it. We call this our sacred cow. And the reason we do that is because the bacteria inside are those that we found in cow manure. And we put the cow manure in the first day to put the bacteria in filled this up with water and then stuck another tank upside down. This is the cow's stomach, this is the cow's intestines, this is the cow's anus, this is the cow's mouth, the cow's throat, and the cow's esophagus, and this is the cow's ureter. It's taking a pee right now, a very rich fertilizer, some of the best semad you could ever hope to grow any crop that you want. It also produces gas whenever this cow farts. Yes, they fart you have cooking gas. And Hannah's going to describe all that to you in the presentation. I'm really sorry I can't be with you today, but I really look forward to seeing you next time we're in Cairo. And we invite you at any time to come to Manshiat Nasser, to Hayaz Abelin, and to Darb al-Ahmar, and meet our Solar Cities team. And hey, join us. Become part of the Solar Cities solution. You can do it too. If you've got two hands, you got a pair of eyes, and we know you have a good brain, Come on and let's start building until everybody in Cairo can use the gifts that Allah gave us, the sun, the wind, the garbage, turning it into clean fuel and a clean and brighter and safer and healthier Cairo. For Solar Cities, I'm T.H. Culhane. 
inshallah we'll see you really soon shukran jazeelan